Okay guys, welcome to the first part in this series where I'll be showing you not how to play guitar at all because clearly I am rubbish at it. Instead, we'll be uh, building playgrounds based on the designs from the Playground Ideas website at playgroundideas.org. So we're going to run through step by step how to build these designs using basic tools, techniques and materials. So we probably should get started eh, and stop playing around on Oh, and for those of you playing at home, we've got the step-by-step -step instructions on the Playground Ideas website, and these will be shown on the top left-hand corner as we go along. So for this project, we're going to need a car tyre, a truck tyre, and another car tyre. But we do not need that guy there. You'll also need some basic tools. This lot here should probably do the job. And of course, you're going to need plenty of tea to keep you going. So grab your tyre and a Stanley knife and then just start cutting around the rim of the tyre there. You'll notice if you push down on the inside of the tyre it'll open up and make it much easier to cut. Now I'd recommend using a very sharp blade, mine was a little blunt so it did take me a little while. Yep. So now you notice the tie is quite flexible, so we can use something like these guys screwed down onto the table to act as a sort of clamp. Now you want to fold the tie into a sort of figure eight shape, and then grabbing your Stanley knife, cutting at angles to reveal this inner metal lining. Safety! Use an angle grinder to cut down the seam, and then get approval from your local mannequin. Yay! Then grab your car tire and figure out where you want to cut it next. I'm going for a bit of a chopper look on this one, I think. And then we're just using the same technique to cut it open as we did before. Then we're just cleaning up the edges, making sure there's no metal bits sticking out. Because that's just nice. The drill bit we're using here is quite a lot larger than the bolt because we're going through rubber. So just two holes on one side, flip it around, and two on the other. And look, it's the obligatory dog, in a video! What? <laughs> and then, using those holes we've just drilled as a marker, we're going to drill all the way through the truck tie there. And grab yourself a couple of bolts and washers. You probably want some much bigger washers than what I've got here though, uh, but the, this, will, this will just do for now. Now we're just tightening up those bolts there. Um, speaking of bolts, if you can get the button head or something similar, just so there's no protruding edges, nothing sticking out that can hurt uh, anyone who's going to be sitting on there. Uh, then we're just going to do the same thing to the other side, pretty self-explanatory, so let's just listen to some music. And we're starting to look a bit more like a motorbike now. Except, of course, that it is not in the ground. Now, I've built my own shovel here, but you could probably just buy one. Um, and then you want to dig two holes about uh, half the depth of the height of one of those tyres. But I had to go a bit shallow here because I hit cement in my tiny, tiny backyard. <laughs> then we're just going to fill in these holes, um, making sure you're packing down the dirt really tight in and around those tyres. Now I've just found a branch which we're going to use for the handlebars and saw it off to the length that we're after and then using the Stanley knife we're just going to take off that bark and any sharp edges using double speed if it's available and rounding off the edges with a file. Then we're going to drill some holes for the handlebars using a small bit for the wood and a large bit to get through that rubber. And with large washers on either side, we're tightening all of that up. And then it's time to unleash the paints. So get as creative as you like here. Um, mine's ended up being a bit Jackson Pollocky, but I quite like it. And um, here's the result. What a beauty. She rides like a dream, I told ya. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching guys, I hope this has been helpful. For any more information, check out playgroundideas.org and support them if you can. Now, 
get outside and have a play. See ya.